Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Week here. Uh, coming in with my impressions on the new Tarkov patch. So, I played the new patch today for probably about, I don't know, five hours or so. I was playing with Pebro today. And we made it a point to do all the maps. We did, I think, we, I'm pretty sure we did every map except for Shoreline. Yeah, we didn't do any Shoreline raids today, but we did every other map. Um, just, just to kind of see how everything felt. Now, initial impressions, good. Yeah. The one thing that's really nice that they did change was the scope lag. So, when you zoom in with your scope now, you don't get massive frame drops every time you scope in. You do occasionally. You do occasionally. But most times I did it tonight, I was, you know, it was pretty nice to be able to zoom in without my game locking up for a second or two. That was pretty cool. Um, apparently there were changes made to the AI. I did quite a few lab runs tonight. I didn't really notice anything too crazy different about the AI. As for the AI scavs on other maps, again, didn't really notice anything too nutty about them. I don't know. If you've noticed changes, leave a comment or let me know. There's also new spawns on labs. Uh, it's kind of cool. You know, break up the madness, I guess, of the first, you know, 30 seconds to a minute of every lab run. So that's kind of nice. Um, what else have we got here? The recoil. Okay, so one big issue that a lot of people have with Tarkov is the fact that once you get past a certain point, and let's face it, even like early game, you, you can do this quite easily on, on most guns. There are a few exceptions, but on most guns, you can basically have, you know, a beam rifle pretty early. Uh, a very early game modded 74N, 74M. They're, they're like laser beams. There's, there's very, very little recoil. The only gun in this game that seems to have like a decent amount of recoil is the SA-58 when you have that thing on full auto and you're like standing up trying to spray it or whatever. Um, the... I don't know. The recoil on guns is just... It's not really... There, there isn't really any. Once you get past a certain point, there's just no recoil to your guns and it's just a point shooting laser beam fight and that's it. You know, who can point shoot somebody else's head first? It, it just feels like there's, there's very little um, skill to it. It's just whoever you know, knows where their crosshair is, you know, or the, the center of their screen is, or where their bullets are going better kind of wins. There's there's no, like, compensating for recoil in a, a lot of time. A lot of times, like, actually, never. There's never any compensating for recoil, really. Um, at least much. It's driven a lot of people away from the game. Apparently, one of the changes they made was there was more point shooting recoil. If I didn't know that, I would have said there was no difference. It, I didn't see any noticeable difference to the point firing recoil today when I was playing. So, I, I don't know about that one. The stuttering is still there. It's still, like, incredibly prevalent. Like, there is a ton of stuttering. There's still a lot of lockups. Now, whether or not that's down to there being an increased player count today because the patch dropped, I don't know. Even at its peak at this point, the EFT player base, it's really not that big. It really isn't. It's a very, very small player base. It's likely peaked today. It will probably peak tomorrow. But the thing is, like, it's not going over 10,000 players concurrently. I don't know what it was today. I didn't bother checking, but there's no way it's over 10,000 concurrent players on a single day. So what this still says to me is that going forward, regardless of the fixes and, you know, whatever else they're doing to try and improve on their netcode, I don't think we're going to be able to take the next step forward without them adding in a shit ton of new servers for us to play on or at least move their server provider to somebody else who rents higher performance servers. I don't know. I, I don't know what the play is from here, but the stuttering, the lockups, all this shit is still happening. And like, we, we've all been talking about it forever and maybe patch 11.7 or whatever the fuck you know, might might improve it more, but as of today, 11.5, I'm not like, I'm not like hugely impressed. I'm not sitting here going, wow, this is incredible. This is so much better. Yes, it is a little bit better. You know, you get a little bit less stuttering, you know, a few less lockups here and there. Yeah, whoopee. Um, we, we shouldn't have to be dealing with this at this point. And, like, the the annoying thing about it is still, and I, I don't know how many people, like, realize this or, or know this, um, when you get a massive lag spike in Tarkov, like, you lock up for, like, a good two seconds and you're back. 
it's like that means that a geared player has moved into your radius usually because what that's doing is it's loading all of their gear all of their guns their attachments their ammo their mags everything that they have on them into your area you know where your where your pmc is so once they move into that radius you get a lock up because it's loading all of their shit in and you know every time it's never a surprise that you run into a geared player it's very rare that this doesn't happen this way sometimes yes you'll run into people without lag spikes i'm not entirely sure how this works but like nine times out of ten you hit a lag spike then boom guess what there's a squad in front of you or there's a geared player in front of you or something so it removes that like there's no surprise you always know it's coming and that's that's kind of a big problem for me i i hate that shit i hate knowing it's almost like having cheats it really is because you know they're coming you're going to start immediately playing differently immediately playing differently as it's yeah I, I don't know you know I, I I was honestly thinking that 11.5 with the way they were talking about it was going to be the fucking be all end all of you know fixing all the shit that you know annoys us about Tarkov which is the stuttering and the lag but unfortunately at least for me today as of today today is patch day these are just my initial impressions maybe I'll come back in a week's time and maybe everything will be better maybe I'll come back in two weeks time maybe things will be better but going back to my point earlier we shouldn't be having these problems considering the player base of Tarkov. It's not that big. And this just means that, you know, they just either don't have good enough servers uh, that we're all connecting to or the netcode is still just, you know, complete shit. It is a little bit better. It's not where it needs to be yet. And I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed in it, honestly. I mean, yeah, like, honestly, I don't, like, if there wasn't a patch today or sorry if there was a patch today and i didn't know about it i don't think i would have been able to tell the difference from playing like a couple of days ago i i don't know it's 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 really hard to say like it wasn't like wow this is incredible it was kind of like yeah it seems to be running a bit better oh wait here's the stutters and here's the lag spikes uh, you know it's maybe they're like a little bit more spaced out i don't know uh i i can't really put my finger on it so maybe we'll have to get that dude who did the, the netcode analysis on the game to come back and check it again or something. I don't know. It's very hard to test this shit because it's it's so it, it's such a personal thing. It varies player to player. Everybody seems to get different results when they play Tarkov. And yeah, a lot of you guys know that I took a break from Tarkov for about three weeks to just play Apex just because I was having a shitload of fun with it. And I just wanted to, I don't know, just fucking dig my teeth into something else for a while. And I came back to Tarkov a couple of days ago. And I was like, ah, yo, come on, we'll, we'll jump back on Tarkov for a bit. You know, we'll do some raids and we'll, we'll use some of our gear before, you know, the wipe comes, whenever that's going to be. And um, honestly, those two days I played Tarkov, I ran into about 10 cheaters. I've never ran into that many cheaters before. In fairness, a couple of them were stream snipers. And obviously your, you know, your average Joe tarkov player isn't going to run into these guys because they're they're specifically after me um because they have no penis um and then i started putting up my overlay and going into other raids and you know doing my thing whatever and i was still getting killed by like super super suspect shit and I'm very careful about calling cheats. I didn't do it on my stream because I just don't like doing shit like that. Because if they are hacking and they're watching, you know, that's that's their that's their gratification there by me acknowledging them and, you know, being pissed off at them. But like the fact is I don't really care about losing gear in this game. You can make money so easy. A gear loadout loss to me is nothing. We can just move on, go to another raid, and you can get ten of them back doing lap runs anyway. It doesn't make any difference. There's there's for me at least, there's no consequence anymore for losing gear because you can just go back to labs and make your money back in, you know, two raids, if even. Um, even without the keys. And that's another thing they're going to have to balance, but that's a video for another time. But yeah, I've, I've noticed there's a lot of cheaters on Tarkov, and it's... Uh, that's really fucking bad. <laughs> because before this, I barely ran into any cheaters. I was that one guy who said, oh, there's never any cheaters in Tarkov. Uh, you know, all these people are just talking shit, you know, they're fucking whatever. You know, you're not running into a cheater every second raid, blah, blah, blah. But like these last few days, I've been running into a lot of them. And um, besides the few that were stream sniping me, the ones that couldn't have predicted what raids I was in or whatever, unless they have a way to just follow me into raids. 
without me being on their friends list or, or without them being able to see what map I'm selecting. Um, it's fucked. There's a lot of people cheating on Tarkov right now and that's going to kill the game. That'll outright kill the game. It'll fucking damn right stop me from playing it. You know, all well and good. They're doing ban waves every fucking two months. Yeah, well done. Uh, you need more of them. It needs to be every fucking week. Like, at least every week. You know, if 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 it just continues this way, there's going to be nothing but hackers versus hackers in every raid. And you're, you're not going to have any, like, real player base left if the, if the problem gets worse. Now, I do know that towards the end of wipes, there's not a lot of people playing. People are bored, blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe this is why I'm noticing that hackers are more prevalent for whatever reason, because maybe they're, like trying them out in the downtime and think there's less chance of them getting caught or whatever. I, I don't know, but maybe that has something to do with it. But if I'm getting pissed off over there being cheaters, that's an issue. I know there's people out there that get pissed off on stream, just boom, like that. Calling accusations on people or whatever else. That's not me. I don't do shit like that. But when it's actually getting to me, I feel like that's how you know when there's a fucking problem because... I don't usually acknowledge that shit, but I've noticed it a lot in the last couple of days. I can't be the only one. I've spoken to two other people. They've said they've ran into a lot of cheaters within the last week, two weeks or so. So, yeah. That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. So I'm going to counter that negative point with a positive point. The directional audio the changes they've made, good. Step in the right direction, for sure. The muffled audio is really nice on the floors behind, below you, like when there's gunfire going off. I had a nice example of this on Interchange earlier. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I want to get into more situations where directional audio can help me figure out where people are, if they're actually above me, actually below me. Shoreline would be a good place to test this, but we didn't end up playing any Shoreline today. But on Interchange, it was quite easy to figure out if they were below us when we were up on the, let's say, first floor, where... You know, like the big skylight is and all that kind of shit where you're looking down over the down general stores below you and the concrete ramp up from the underground car park is there. It was quite easy to like determine where people were. Um, like directionally and then, you know, the muffled audio sounds pretty good. It sounds almost realistic like that would actually sound like that in real life, I guess. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, that's cool that they're actually finally, finally working on the audio because... The audio for me in this game is probably one of the most infuriating factors of it because it's so unbelievably hard to tell where people are. <laughs> like, there's been times where I've like, that guy's above me. I go upstairs and he follows me up the stairs behind me. I'm like, what the f how the fuck was he downstairs? It sounded like he was walking above me. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know. This is one of those things. So the sooner, you know, that gets fully fleshed out and that shit gets fixed, that's going to be sick. Uh, Once that whole new sound system is implemented or whatever. Uh, what else do I have in my little list here? I don't really have a whole lot of stuff here. Um, I did have one thing on woods today. We got a weird spawn on woods. It was by like the the old default spawn on woods on the... How would I explain it? You know, the big long wall that goes all the way down and then the sniper rocks are over on the right and then you've got the beach like all the way up. We spawned like smack dab in the center of that. And then we walked up and about 10 seconds later, there was a squad on our left and there was a fucking squad on our right. We were just standing there in the middle of it. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> why, why are we spawning on top of two squads that can get on top of us within 10 seconds? So like, yeah, there's still some shit that needs to be fixed with the the spawns, at least on woods. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just weird. <laughs> maybe, maybe we just got really unlucky or something, but yeah. It's just bizarre to me that like shit like that's still happening to where the, the spawn system is still kind of fucked that that many people are spawning right on top of each other. Literally pinched between two squads. It was weird. Um, also, this is kind of a petty thing, but I really wish we could turn off that raid completion sound. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to sympathize with me here when I say that, you know, when you die in a raid and then you get that stupid fucking sound that plays to remind you that you've died again. Yeah, that's really fun. Uh, I really like that. I really wish we could turn that off because nothing makes you want to put your fist through your monitor more than that fucking sound after you die in a raid. Oh, here's a reminder, by the way. You died. Get fucked, idiot. You know, um, it would just be nice to be able to turn it off. <laughs> but that's just that's just a petty minor thing. It's fucking stupid. You know, end the video on a light note, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my first impressions. I don't know. A lot of people think this patch is God's gift. I don't personally. Uh, I don't know. It still has a very, very long way to go. And whether 11.7 is going to fix any of that, I don't know. Uh, yeah.
<clears throat> so yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. I'm not gonna drone on anymore about uh about this kind of stuff because we've all talked about this stuff before. A lot of the stuff that I haven't mentioned in this video come you know if if you've been hanging around my streams for the last year it's all just the same shit repeated over and over again i'm sick of fucking beating a dead horse i'm sick of saying the same shit over and over again so yeah i'm gonna leave it there guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you have an opinion or you want to tell me about your experiences that you're having with tarkov day one after the patch let me know in a comment below and yeah if y'all want to come see me live over on twitch.tv slash tweak hang out over there i'll be live tomorrow at 8 p.m a uk time and of course on thursday the 7th at 3 a.m uk time and it's like 11 o'clock est or 10 o'clock est uh american time east coast time i think it is the ready or not podcast i will be on there with clean donut operator and two of the devs from ready or not we will be dropping a lot of very cool information on the game some stuff that a lot of y'all are going to be very interested in hearing about. So mark that shit on your calendar. It's also going to be on the Twitch front page. It's going to be super fucking cool. And I would appreciate if you guys could come hang out. See some of that juice would be nice. Would be very nice. But lads, I'm going to wind this video down here. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.